Welcome to another cool tutorial on cool stuff. This time it's changing the spark plugs and ignition coils on a Porsche Cayenne Turbo. As you can see, the engine bay is very dirty and dusty. We'll take care of that towards the end. We're doing just the spark plugs and one coil today. First thing we have to do is take the covers off the engine. There are push and pop fasteners here. You have to push on them and then turn them and they'll pop out. Take the coolant cover off, then the battery and AC cover off, then the whole side covers come off. Take the middle cover off. The windshield washer fluid reservoir cap needs to come off. And usually there's a small screw holding the tank onto the cover. Mine was already taken off. Now the other side cover comes off. We'll take the coil cover off with a size 30 torque socket. These are the bolts. Whoops, looks like we need to take the secondary air pump off to get in there. Size 40 torques for that. There are three bolts that hold that on. Slides off to the side pretty easily. Now the coil cover. The cover comes off to be cleaned in a few minutes. Now we'll unscrew the coil bolts. They look like they need a torque socket to get them off, but a regular 10 millimeter socket works. Now you unhook the electrical harness connector by pushing in on the tab and pulling it up and off. Now to get the coil out, I gently used a flathead screwdriver to get it started. Be careful because that connector can easily break. Pull and pull and wiggle and pull and wiggle and pull it until it pops off. The coil comes out and the spark plug socket with a rubber insert is used to unscrew the spark plug.
A new plug is put in, but without the spark plug socket with the rubber insert. This way you can pull the socket out and it doesn't stay on the spark plug. Now get the torque wrench out and torque it to about 22 foot-pounds. Screw the coil bolt back in. Now do the same for the rest of the cylinders. Uh-oh, part of the coil stayed in the hole. This sucks.
I ended up taking the air box off to get a straight shot at the rubber bit left in there. Got it. Ugh. That chewed up the rubber boot a bunch. And this coil ended up being cracked anyway, so I just put in a new coil. The reason I did this to begin with is that the number 5 cylinder was misfiring. This should fix it. Alright, all done with this side. Put the coil cover back on. There are little brass rings in the attach points on the cover. Make sure they are in there and don't fall off somewhere. Now we can put the secondary air pump back in and bolt it down. Time to clean the engine bay a little. I use a mixture of dish soap with lots of water. Don't spray too much. Then wipe it off with a clean paper towel. Here's the air box going back on. Clean the air box and the engine covers in the sink with dish soap. Then I use Mother's Back to Black paste to get the deep blacks back with no sticky residue. Here's the before. Here's the after. Thanks for watching. If this helped, please subscribe to my channel so that I can get the thousand subscribers YouTube wants everyone to have. Yeah, the music's kind of annoying, isn't it?